is a very underrated art. And for those of us who spend a fair amount of time travelling with our fishing kit or without it, you very often find that you're restricted on a light aircraft to 15 kilos or 20 kilos. Deciding what to leave behind and what not to take is, is actually, I think, the hardest thing you can do for a trip. And with your hand baggage, what I've found, and I'm afraid I've learned the hard way here, is that um, you need to take with you what would really, really ruin your holiday. If you didn't have it, we can make it work for fishing kit. It's not a problem, usually. Uh, if, you, if your rods don't arrive, your main bag doesn't turn up, as long as you've got the important stuff, you can carry on with your trip and you don't have to worry too much. Now, for me, my biggest problem is boots. I've got very small feet and uh, there's no way that a guide's pair of boots is going to fit me and I've tried it. Trust me. A week in size 10 boots when you've got a little size 5 feet is really not worth doing. So, boots go in my backpack. I do appreciate that mine are smaller than yours um, in most, most cases, but they take up less room. Um, but they're in, they're fine. The next thing is just take a set of fishing kit with you. You've got your travelling clothes. You do want to be able to get out on the flats. So in here I have a pair of wading trousers, a fishing shirt, my tights, my little neoprene booties because I think they're fabulous, and um, my lucky hat. Then I have got the other stuff which unfortunately we need to have nowadays. I've got camera, I've got my phone charger, I have a torch, I suppose that's not necessary but it's good to have and in this little bag I have uh, some sort of uh, bathroom stuff and all my medication. So the only other thing to put in here are glasses, sunglasses, contact lenses if you have them and in my case some free pastels. That's it. So having wrestled everything into your backpack which has to weigh about six kilos, mine does, um, and I have a little bag with my iPad in it as well, so if I have to, it all fits in and it's fine um, for my allowance. Now, the big bag, this is where I tend to find I put everything out that I think I need to take, and then I cut it in half, and then I try to put it in, and then I have to cut it in half again. So, this is about 15 kilos. The about, I'll tell you about in a minute. Rod tubes are heavy, even the new ones. So I've got two by two drain pipe, I've got two rods in each. I always put a big one with a little one and it works really well. I use my socks to stuff the ends, all my buffs. Um, may as well make the most of the room and they just fit. It is a little bit of a packing art to wiggle everything around them. Um, but I've been doing it this way a long time now uh, and it just seems to be logical it's the lightest way I've managed to do it you could drill holes um, in the in the plastic pipe as well that would make them a little bit lighter I have seen people traveling with rod tubes which have been drilled it doesn't really matter just try to save weight where you can next are my four reels so I've got four rods I've got four reels I don't have to take everything for every possible eventuality. Um, most locations have spares, um, as will your fellow compatriots. So take what you need, unless you really are going to the back of beyond, um, you don't need to take any more. I know we'd all like to take everything we have, but this is just trying to be practical. Um, and that comes down to flight, my biggest problem I have four fire boxes. Um, they're not waterproof, so these are the ones that I use for storage. I tend to put my sort of day flies, if you like, in a small pack in my pocket, and the big ones are in my backpack, or on the boat in my day bag, which I also have here. Um, you only need one pair of shoes, you don't need very much. You've got your travelling shoes to wear something comfy. If it's freezing when you leave home and you're staying overnight in a hotel, as long as you have a bag you can zip, you can always leave from there. 
more painkillers, stoppers, goers, anti-inflammatory. Again, I tend to corral mine in plastic bags because it's just much easier to find what you need when you get the other end. It also means that if you have an unhelpful customs official who wants to look in here, you don't have to stress about putting it all back again. Um, Dioralite, I'm afraid that I'm terrible at remembering to drink in hot water, but you must, and you will get sick if you don't. So, the best thing to do, of course, is to drink sufficient. Um, and if you're like me and you're not very good, at least have a diarrhea like morning and evening. It will help. And there's nothing worse than ruining your holiday because you feel poorly. Hair colours. You can be, like Peter, terribly organised and have lots of Velcro bits. But if you are like me and you're not, these work just as well. Put them around your backpack. Put your rod in it, and we have to do is twist it off. It works beautifully. Pliers, nippers, all have to go in. Oh, pseudocam is really pretty good. Hopefully, you won't ever need it, especially if you're wearing tights or lycra shorts. But you never know. Spare sunglasses. The main ones are in my hand, in my backpack but just in case. It's my little first aid kit. It has plasters, steri strips, sterile dressings. The guides will have a proper um, first aid kit but it's always useful to have stuff with you. So this isn't comprehensive, it's just useful. Bathroom. I've got sunscreen, shampoo and um, insect stuff. They love me and I know I'm going to get nibbled. GoPro, stick, my tailing glove because obviously I'm going to need it. Um, yes, heat tripod. Very good for taking footage. Um, make sure when you're trying to take footage that you want um, or that you'll need to take a tripod if you're videoing. Suss it out the day before, get there very early, get there late, just make sure you have enough time. You don't want to miss that magic window by still being set up. More flies, I'm afraid these are the big ones. I can't go anywhere without these. Um, most of mine are pilfered from feet, but uh, don't tell you that. Um, this is the fly bag, it's actually embarrassing because it's just untidy. It's very useful, and these are all mine. So I reckon if I kept them in there, nobody would pitch them. Uh, fly light. I actually have probably two ladies here. Um, but I've got my new ones, which are my backups. I have a couple of used ones, which are on my Omnisports. Brilliant for changing over in the boat. Um, I'm not particularly the tidiest line changer, and this is a lifesaver for my boat partner. So they're brilliant. Don't forget to take the handle. If you do, uh, it just takes a lot longer to last, but not leave. Well, not quite last, but gravel guards. I don't have um, the the Lycra socks that form a gravel guard. They're absolutely brilliant and they're fantastically comfortable to wear. But I've got the old-fashioned ones, and they are equally good, but only if I remember to put them in my bag. Rain jacket. I hope I won't need it, but you never know. And if you have it and you don't use it, that's fantastic. And then that's pretty much it, in, other than clothing. Um, I try to corral the clothing again, it's just much easier. Um, I have one which has got fishing stuff in it, so tights, buffs, gloves, like shorts, that's easy. These are my things. Fly bit. And this is the clothes. I mean, in here I've got two fishing shirts, a pair of trousers, um, my pyjamas, and I have uh, just one set of sort of casual clothes, and that's it. I don't need anything else. So that all fits in nicely. Um, what else has got to go in? Ah, this is the, um, well, bribes, really, for guides. 
She who has the most chocolate catches the most fish. Maybe. But anyway, if I find that I am nearing the weight limit or over, it's in one bag, it is heavy, but I can take it out. Um, haven't had to yet, but there's always a first time. It's good to have stuff to take with you. My day bag, my boat bag, it's waterproof. All the stuff goes in there and stays. This is my very lucky fly. Made out of the flip flop. So that's coming with me. And last but not least, that clip. Please take it with you because even if you don't use it, I can guarantee that somebody will need it through the course of the weekend. You know, keep rods together, keep boots together, and uh, hopefully you won't, but you never know. One more hat. And that's it. I hope your luggage arrives with you, so it travels. And um, happy fishing, tie dyes. <laughs>